I don't watch TV. Hello, Hopkinton Middle School. I'm your host, Alex Tannenbaum, and this is episode number 111 of HMS Today. Let's get the ball rolling with, are you ready? A third minute with the principal in a row. Awesome. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. I'm pleased today to be joined by Shelby Jones, who is an eighth grade student, was nominated by her teachers to take part in Project 351, which happened on Saturday, January 19th. Project 351 is a program that was started in 2011 where an eighth grader from each of Massachusetts 351 cities and towns uh, is nominated by their school to represent their school and their community in a day of service in honor of Martin Luther King Jr. So Shelby, can you tell us about your day? So I woke, had to wake up very early in the morning. I got on the bus at, I think, 7, and we drove into Boston. In Faneuil Hall, we listened to a lot of great speeches after meeting up with our groups. We heard uh, Governor Baker speak, and we heard Iona Presley speak, and she was amazing. Then we spread out across Boston into different service groups. I went to a homeless shelter called Pine Street Inn. We created mindfulness packets for the people who were staying there because there were many people who uh, would be inside the whole day and not be able to go back outside due to the harsh conditions. These mindfulness packets had coloring and word searches and it was something for them to do during that time. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for taking part in representing HMS and uh, we're happy to have you there. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Keller. Your time is appreciated. Now let's spend a moment with the student in a book recommendation. Hi, my name is Cameron and I read this really great book. It's called Crash. I liked it because I can relate to a lot of the characters. The main character, John, or as he likes to be called Crash, is relatable to because he is very athletic and he has to face a lot of tough decisions in his life. I can relate to that because I consider myself athletic and I always have to make decisions even if they're not that tough. Another character in the book I can relate to is Penn Webb. He's the underdog because he just moved to the school and nobody really knows him. I can relate to that because I've had to move three times in my life and I felt like the underdog sometimes. It's a really great book and I think you should go read it. It's on to our favorite Fun Fact Friday. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. I just want to mention that earlier this week we had your favorite decade day on Wednesday during our spirit week. Now despite the beautiful neon that I have up here on the board, my favorite decade happened to be the 1960s. Now I know many of you dressed in the 70s or the 80s or even the 90s, but I just want to talk about a few fun facts from the 1960s. Here's one for you. Built in August of 1961, this turned out to be one of the most unpopular structures in all of history. Any idea? That's right, the Berlin Wall. Fortunately, it was torn down a couple of decades later. Also, first played in 1967, this popular sporting event didn't obtain its current name until 1969. And I'll tell you, I'll give you a little hint, a little tip of the cap to the New England Patriots. That's right, the Super Bowl. Even though it was started in 1967, didn't obtain its name until 1969. Also in the 1960s, a modified Lincoln Futura became one of the most famous vehicles in the 1960s. Any idea? Batmobile, that's right. Okay, here's a question for you folks. Of the 1950s, the 1960s, or the 1970s, which decade was the longest? Now, if the answer leaps out at you, please send an email to HMS today. You'll see the email address on the board behind me. And who knows, maybe you'll win a fabulous prize. That's it for today, folks. Be kind to one another. And read a great book this coming vacation. Thank you for your work, Mr. Rockwood. That was epic. Let us now check in with question of the day. Hang Hang with friends. friends. Face time, friends. I'm going to make some snowballs. Playing Fortnite. Jazz band. Jazz band. (laughs) Jazz band. Going on vacation. I'm going to ski in New Hampshire. Hanging out with friends. I'm mainly just going to game and sleep. Sleeping. Minecraft. Thanks to everyone who answered. Moving on, this week's poll asked what the best snack is, and the winner is, by a lot, Oreos. Visit our website for a new poll. Now it's time for the birthday scroll.
Happy birthday, everybody. Let's wrap up the show with Have You Seen This? That's a bit of a problem because we received no answers this week. Yikes. The picture stays the same, so get out there and find it. That's our show today, so have a great February break. Check us out at hms.today. Send all your thoughts to hmstv at hillers.org. Until next week, get out there and study hard. That 111 just broke me. On there it says 111, on here it says 112. Oh. We just so fast with the Epic. Where was I supposed to say epic? Thanks, Mr. Keller. Your time is. <laughs> I should have actually read through this.